Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome to another Thursday Thursday. This is the day that the Lord has made. You better try and rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful and grateful that you have decided to join me today. I'm not going to prolong the time. I'm going to ask you to go with me to the Father in prayer that we may hear what he's speaking to us today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, God, we just say thank you, Lord, for wooing us and calling us closer to you, oh, God, giving us an ear to hear from you, oh, God. All we can do is stand before you now, oh, God, bow before you now, oh, God, humble ourselves before you, oh, God, and say your children are here. We're listening. Speak, Abba, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, hallelujah and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Today, I'm going to uh, ask you to go with me to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter one. And we're going to look at a couple of verses, verses uh, 17 and 18. And as you know, uh, you'll remember on last week, last week we were in the book of Jeremiah. And uh, as a matter of fact, it was Jeremiah chapter one. Uh, we looked at the 11th and 12th verses. And God was speaking to uh, the prophet Jeremiah. And he asked Jeremiah a pertinent question. He said, Jeremiah, tell me what you see. And it was from there. God is staring us. He's staring our gifts. He's staring the gift of imagination and seeing and understanding. He's staring this gift, the prophetic gift, in his children. The church is to lead forward. We're not to be behind in the world. We are to lead forward. And how do we lead? We lead by what we see, by what we see from the Father. So I'm glad that you joined me again this week, amen, that you will be able to see. Go with me in Ephesians. And I am reading from the King James Version today. Uh, beginning at that 17th verse, chapter one, it says, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance to the saints. This is God wooing the body of Christ. He's saying, I have all of this for you. I want to share with you. I want you to understand. And so he's staring up your imagination. He's staring up your understanding. Amen. And I, I'm just so excited about what God is doing. Amen. How he's stirring up the gifts in us. The human imagination allows us to see beyond the limitation of our natural eyes. My natural eyes have gotten to a point where they need a little bit of help, a little bit of help from eyeglasses to be able to see things in the natural. But my holy God, the omnipotent one, the omniscient one, the omnipresent one, oh my God. He touches my, my supernatural eyes, amen, that I will be able to 
see the things that he's calling me to. See, I want you to understand, seeing is a power. And seeing beyond the natural eye is a supernatural power, amen, called our imagination. It should be tempered by the spirit of wisdom and revelation right there in 17, and amen. Tempered by the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God. We want to know and understand the plans that God has for us. Amen. See, uh, we want to have clean hands and a pure heart that we may ascend into the place that God would have us to be, that we may ascend to higher height, amen, that uh, our hearts, amen, our hearts are enlightened, our imaginations are enlightened, we can get this vision from God because we are in a right relationship with God, and God begins to reveal what he has for us. He is calling us to the forefront Don't be surprised if on your job, God calls you to the forefront. He puts you in a leadership position that you may actually lead out in front. And you be compensated for what God is calling you to do and the position that he puts you in. Now you must remember your holy God as he elevates you. And it's not elevating you just for you, just for your good, but God is taking us somewhere because some things are getting ready to come down the pipeline, amen. God is calling. Uh, he's getting ready to release judgment on the world. Amen. But he must have his people, his, his, his remnant in position that we may lead. Amen. The way that he has called us to lead. But as he's calling us out and he's calling us up, we cannot have a spirit like Lot's wife. Remember, God called Lot and his family out, amen. But Lot's wife, as they were on their way out and they were on their way up, amen. Lot's wife looked back, amen. Not that she just glanced back with her natural eye, amen. But it was a heart thing. She looked back in her heart, amen longing for what was left behind, amen, in her. She became a pillar of salt, amen. We don't want to become bitter because we're looking back at the world's way of doing things, amen. But we must be happy. We must be filled with joy. We must be satisfied with what God gives us. But the benefits that we receive from God, amen, it beats the world's benefit anytime, any day. So I wanted to stop by today to encourage you, get yourself in the word of God. Study, study to show yourself approved. That as God is handing out these promotions, amen, in the natural, in the physical, as well as in the spirit, amen, you will be chosen, you will be elevated, but you will keep your mind stayed on God, amen. You will keep your mind stayed on Christ Jesus, amen, that you won't uh, get a hard heart. You won't, be, you won't become bitter about the things that God is calling you to. Because some of the things that God calls you to, now believe me, he will equip you for it. But it's not going to be 
just all easy and and you still just laying back eating bun buns, sipping on sweet tea, looking at all of the uh the movies and binging on on reruns and, and, and trying to catch up. No, 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 no. This is the time that you are to be in the word. You are to be saturated in the word of God. And as he releases things upon you, amen, you will be equipped, amen, and you will be able to handle the assignment that God has given you. But remember, in receiving the assignment, he said he will never leave you nor forsake you. So you're not alone, amen whatever you need clarification understanding about you can go to the father amen and he will make sure that you receive that understanding amen you are more than qualified to do the job that he has called you to oh glory to god i think that's just what i stopped by to tell you today you are more than qualified to do the job that god has called you to because he is the one who has prepared you for your assignment. Amen. So I, I, as he told Jeremiah, when he was giving Jeremiah his assignment, Jeremiah said, Lord, why are you telling me this? I'm but a child. And God said, don't say that again. Don't say that you are a child. Don't think that you are babe in Christ Jesus. God is equipping you. He is preparing you. He's filling you with wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So please go back and study Ephesians 1 verses 17 and 18. Amen. Get a good understanding of where God is taking you now. It's elevation time. Elevation in the spirit. Elevation in the natural. Watch. See this thing come to pass. God bless you and God keep you. It is my prayer. It is my sincere prayer that you will spend quality time with God. Ah, bask in his presence. Listen to his voice. There's liberty in his presence. Amen. Freedom is yours freedom in the spirit. Hear God. Taste and see that he is good. Amen, 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 amen. I'm asking that you will like this video, that you will share the video. And if you haven't already done, done so, amen, I'm asking that you will, um, you will, how do I want to say this? Every week I'm asking you, to maybe give me your prayer request or if you would share your testimony. There's a certain freedom that comes in testifying. In the book of Revelations, it says that we have overcome uh, by the blood of the lamb, uh, by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Then where, where uh, if two of us touch and agree on anything, then it's done. So I'm not just uh, asking you to do these things because I want to get in your business. I, I got too much of my own going on. But I am asking you this thing so that I will be able to help you get to that next level in Christ Jesus. Amen. So, uh just think about, think about what I'm asking. Amen. And if you haven't done so, I'm asking that you subscribe to my channel. Amen. What I would like to do, I would like to go global because I know that time is winding up. And I want this word to go throughout the land. Amen. I want from this side of the globe to that side of the globe. Amen. That the word goes forth and that, that somebody will hear about Christ Jesus. That they will come to know him and receive him as their own. 
Amen. And before you know it, amen, we'll be called up to meet him in the air. Amen. But everybody got to have an opportunity to hear about Jesus the Christ. Have that opportunity to receive him as their own. So help me to do this. Amen. I want to say God bless you and God keep you until we meet again. So hopefully, prayerfully, we'll meet again on next Thursday, Thursday. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Amen. And amen. Love you. See you next go round. Bye-bye.